Hey guys, SimColor here, and today we'll learn how we can search for a user uh, using their name or email, whatever, something like that, and how we can uh, access profile pages from other users that are not the current logged in user. So yeah, it should be interesting. We are going to learn some new cool stuff. So yeah, let's do it. If the video is going a little too slow for you, then feel free to change the speed of the video in the video settings. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to jump into uh, VS Code, uh, and this is where we left off in a previous lesson. So we've done the profile page for the current user. However, we are going to adapt it in order to accommodate it for uh, any user uh, that comes along. But the first thing that we are going to do is create a new file inside uh, the main folder called search.js, because we are going to have a new function in here which will be search, and this will be the function responsible for uh, searching for users. So I'm going to grab the contents of feed and paste them inside search, as it contains the boilerplate code that we need for this. However, we'll need a couple more components. So we'll need the text inputs, and we'll need the flat list. Uh, the testing text input will be for the user to type on the phone and the flat list will be to show the list of the users that are current that uh, we are searching for okay so we are also going to import firebase from firebase and this is imports okay then we are going to require uh, firestore and the reason why I'm doing this here is because we are not going to use Redux for this. The first thing that we are going to do is to create, is to use the use state hook uh, in order to uh, store the data of the users. So call users, let's make this a lot bigger. Okay, users and set users, which will be equal to use state um, parentheses and then uh, brackets. Uh, right now uh, it is an empty array, uh, but it will uh, get populated as the user types in into the text inputs. Okay, we'll also need to import the use state, and for that uh, use curly brackets in the from React import and say use state. Okay, that's it. Uh, now uh, we are going to quickly write the, the function which will fetch users. And this function will be called fetch users, quite simply. And it will uh, be passed along a search string. This search string will be the string that the user types into the text inputs. So it can be anything that the user wants. Open up an arrow function, and there we go. Now, in order to search for users, we are going to search by, uh, as the user types, for example, the user types a T. Uh, then we search for all the um, users that have a name that starts with T. That's how it is going to work. And uh, Firestore has a really cool uh, function for that, which makes the job really simple. So firebase.firestore, as always. The collection is users, because that's where we are trying to find uh, our documents. And now we say where, which is the query, the name of the user's documents is bigger or equal to search. So it will try to find um, docs from the user collection where the name is uh, equal to search or has is equal uh, in the first part but has a lot more uh, strings than the search uh, string that we have in here so for example if i jump into firestore i'm going to users let's try to find for example test2 if i typed t in the uh, text input then uh, this user would appear because the name starts with a T. If I type TE in the text input, 
then this name would come out as it contains TE in the beginning. However, if I type TED, for example, then uh, this, name, this document wouldn't appear because it is TES. Okay, so that's how it is going to work. Uh, it isn't perfect, but it gets the job done as Firestore doesn't uh, contain full text search at the moment. But this is good enough for our mm, prototype that we are building here. Then we say get, as we always do. And then we say uh, snapshots, arrow function, curly brackets, there we go. Close it up with a parenthesis. And now we are going to map the users uh, into the array. For this, I'm going to jump right into uh, the index that we have uh, for our Redux actions. And I'm going to grab the post that we have in here as it is uh, the same thing. Uh, however, right now it is users and not uh, posts. So it is pretty much the same. Okay, and after this is, uh, is done, we are going to say set users to users. And there we go, it will update the component, it will reload, and uh, eventually uh, it will show the users in the flat list that we'll build in a second. Okay, so now coming into our view, uh, we are going to quickly jump in here and say, uh, well, it won't be a feed and it won't uh, have this form, it will be a self-closing uh, bracket tag because it is a text input. Okay, this text input will simply call on change to be equal to open curly brackets, open arrow function, and this arrow function will simply call upon the fetch users with the search string. Okay, this search string must also be in here uh, otherwise, it doesn't know what it is. So whenever a user types a letter or removes a letter or changes anything about the text, then the fetch users will be called. And, uh, and the search uh, function will start and uh, the flat list will get updated. Okay, so now we can jump into our flat list and actually start working on it. So let's come below and say flat list. It is a self-closing tag, so we can go ahead and close it. And uh, now the number of columns that we'll have will be uh, one, because only one uh, user will appear per line. This is different from the profile page that we did in the previous lesson where we had three. But yeah, the result will be basically the same. So horizontal will be false in this case. Then data uh, will be users. These will, uh, users is what we, will contain the array with all of the users that are similar to the, um, to the search text that, we, that the user has placed. And now we pass along a render item uh, which will uh, render out each and every single item. So render item, then Curly brackets, parentheses, curly brackets with the item inside. Open up arrow function. And uh, place in parentheses. Okay, so now we are ready to uh, actually uh, put the users in here. So let's say text. And now I'm going to simply open up curly brackets and pass along the item dot name. Uh, remember these users will contain all of the information of the user. So if we type in item dot name, then uh, the name will appear as it is an object. Okay, so I'm going to indent this, save it and jump into my device. Okay, and after I jumped in, uh, we can see that we have the same problem as we had before because we don't have a nav bar. So for the time being, I'm actually going to app.js 
and uh, remove this option header shown equals to false because uh, for the time being it isn't that useful and it just uh, pushes everything up top which isn't great okay so now we have a notification bar however uh, the search uh, screen isn't appearing in the bottom navigation so let's add it really quickly by going into main uh, jump into uh, here in our navigator and duplicate the feed screen because it is pretty much similar to it. So in this case, it will be search instead of feed screen, it will be search screen, but it doesn't exist yet. So let's go up top, duplicate a profile screen, for example, and replace uh, profile for search. Then uh, also fix the location of it. And there we go. Uh, now, if I go below, I'm also going to change uh, the name of the icon, uh, which in this case would, will be magnify, so that it is a magnifying glass. And if I jump right back into the app, we see that uh, the search icon appears. So let's click it. And right now, you don't see anything. However, if you click on the um, top of the application, of the screen, you'll see that you are able to type. And this is because we don't have an int in the text input we'll do in a second. However, an error appears. So let's uh, see uh, why that is. And okay, the problem is here, it isn't on change in the search.js for the text input, it is on change text. Okay, that will fix the problem. Now I am also going to type placeholder just to make it uh, clearer. And it is going to be equal to type here. This will add a placeholder to uh, the text input so that it is easier to see what's going on. Let's format all of this. Okay. So now jumping back into the application, we see that all of the users appear. But if I type uh, T, E, for example, S, T, 2, uh, then all of the users will get reduced to uh, some users that the um, Firestore finds and uh, I can't click on anything and uh, warnings appear, but don't worry about this. It is because we are in development mo mode. Okay, and if I remove it, uh, then uh, it will fetch users that were also um, deleted when once I typed in some uh, characters. So that's uh, great. Uh, it is working as it should. Right now, obviously, these warnings are a bit uh, a pain in the, in the butt, but it works. Now, the next part that we have to worry about is actually to uh, click on the, the users that appear and to go into their profile pages. So let's do that right now. And the thing that we have to do is to, first of all, create a touchable opacity uh, parent that wraps around text. This will make it so that it acts as a button and we can actually catch the, um, the click and it looks better for the user. So uh, let's type in, uh, in up top in the import from React Native, touchable opacity. There we go. Now going below, let's wrap the text that we have in here for, uh, by the touchable opacity tag. Remember, this is basically a button. Um, the difference being that we can place wherever we want inside it. So it acts kind of like a view. This touchable opacity will simply be uh, called on press. So let's do it right now on press, open curly brackets, and on press, we are going to navigate to the profile uh, screen. So props.navigate. Or better yet, navigation dot navigate. Open parentheses. Let's go a bit further. Then we are going to go into profile, but we are going to pass along a prop, and we are going to pass along a prop because profile must know from which ID to choose from in order to display the correct information. And for this, we are going to pass along a prop yet again. So item.id, and uh, this item comes from here. So it is the user's object, which contains the ID, the name, and the email. So we can simply choose the ID. 
So everything uh, is as, as it should be. However, we must pass along props up top because we are going to have to access the, the navigation. And in the main.js, we are going to pass along navigation once again. So let's go uh, in here, tab screen, search, and in front of components, simply say navigation equals to these.props.navigation. Okay, and this will be passed along into search, and then search will be, uh, we'll use it to go into profile on press of a user. So if I jump into uh, my device right now and type in test, for example, and click test two, it will open up the profile page. However, it isn't the user that uh, we picked because I typed in test two and I click test two. However, uh, the test account appeared. And that's incorrect, obviously, but this is because the profile page is only ready now uh, in order to display the current user. So let's change it right now. So in order to make the change into a more general component, which can display both the current user and other users, we are going to come in here and say const user posts set user posts. Uh, this will contain the information of the user post, which we'll fetch in a second. Then we say use state, open uh, brackets and leave it like that because it is an empty array. Okay, then we are going to double that up, but instead of user posts, and uh, it should be posts in here, okay, we are going to say user only so set user and user and instead of an empty array we are going to set the default value to no okay then going into react we are going to have to import uh, the hook so use state and use effect which we'll use in a second okay so now we have everything that's uh, set up for uh, the information that we need uh, however we want to when the profile loads we want to see if uh, we want to show the current user or other user. And if we want to show other users, then we must fetch the data like we did uh, in our actions. But instead for instead of Firebase auth current user UID, you are going to use the UID that we passed along in the props. But if the user is the current user, then we are simply going to display the current user as we've done before. Okay, so it is really simple. All we, we do is use effect, open up two parentheses, then arrow function. Okay, so now in the use effect function, we are going to um, load up the user and if the user is different from the current user, uh, fetch the data from the database. However, before that, we are going to go into main.js and uh, grab this listener, for example, and paste it in the profile screen. We are doing this uh, for a reason that I'll explain in a second. Let's close up everything first. There we go. And uh, we are doing this because we must, must pass along uh, the UID again, like we did in the search uh, screen. So let's go profile and now open curly brackets, UID, Two points, Firebase auth dot current user dot UID. Okay, and uh, this way we'll be able to pass along the props uh, inside it and make it easier the logic from the profile screen perspective. However, we must come up top before anything else and say import Firebase from. Firebase, okay? And uh, this way it will be uh, working uh, like that, okay? And uh, now if we jump into our account uh, profile, everything works uh, fine. However, we want to use uh, the effects in order to ca catch the mount moment of the, the component so that we can uh, alter things and choose if it is the current user or not. 
Okay, so in this case, what we are going to do is say if props dot route dot params dot uid equals to firebase dot auth dot current user dot uid then that means that uh, we are trying to access our own profile and we can go up top and import firebase from firebase uh, then an error will appear. Okay, uh, don't worry about that. If the, uh, the props routes params UID is equal to our ID, then we are going to set the user, the user to current user, and we are going to set the user posts to posts, which is uh, this information that came from Redux. However, if it doesn't, and let's test it, this part right now, we see that we can't find the variable current user. So that means that we have to go into our JSX and change current user for user and user for user posts. Reloading it, let's go into our profile. And there's yet another, another error. It is saying that the user uh, dot name is null because the user is null. And to fix this, all you have to do is say user uh, if user equals to null, then return an empty view. Uh, this is because it might uh, not have loaded uh, at the moment that the use effect is being called. So this uh, will fix that issue and while the user is null, show an empty view. Go into profile and again, it is working and I'm going to go below and remove the margin top just to make things a bit nicer. Okay, and if uh, props route params UID doesn't equal to uh, Firebase of current user UID, then we are going to do something different. We are going to uh, require, first of all, Firebase Firestore and we are going to require this because we are going to go into actions and grab all of these uh, Firebase calls. So Firebase uh, Firestore collection users get, and we are going to fetch the posts as well. And I'll explain why we are doing this in a second. Uh, so we are doing this because if the user is other user than the current one, we must fetch the, that information from the database, obviously, and that's why we are doing this. So we are going to pass along props route params UID to the docs, like that. And uh, instead of dispatching, we are going to do something a bit different. So we are going to say set user to snapshots.data. Okay, like that. And we are going to do the same thing for uh, the posts below. So set user posts to posts. So if we jump into the application and actually uh, go into uh, test two, for example, uh, it bugs out. You see that uh, the application suddenly became uh, uh, really slow and uh, this is because it is in an infinite loop of updating the set user posts. It is always entering this use effect. So in order to fix it, we are going to go below the user effect, the use effect and we are going to say type comma and then pass along props route params UID. And the reason why we, we are doing this is because when uh, you uh, place an array in here, uh, we are saying that only when this variable updates will this use effect uh, do something. So I'm going to close the application and relaunch the app to see if this fixes it. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go into profile. Everything uh, worked out nicely. Let's type in something in, in here. Test 2, for example. Let's go into test 2. And now the application doesn't bug out and I'm free to uh, jump into other screens.
Okay, so everything is working as it should be. We are able to uh, search for users. We are able to go into the, the, that user's profile. So now in the next lesson, we'll do the following and the fo and following of the users. And then we are going to work on the feed. So not much is left in order to make this uh, functioning app. Obviously it does look a bit rough, but some CSS on top, it will look really, really good. So we are almost done. Uh, we are in the stretch, uh, in the final stretch. So yeah, if you like this video, then please do like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao.